right, so this is chapter three, lesson one. It says subtract mentally, okay? I'll say to you, subtract mentally, you break up the smaller numbers into parts. Oh, anybody know what the strategy is that called again? When you break them apart? Decomposing, yes. So let's see. Um, they went, it was a sunny, warm, 86 degree day for outdoor games. The, what was the temperature when it dropped 17? So it started at 86. Okay, and they went 86 minus 17, and then they decomposed 17 mi equals 16 minus uh, plus 1. That's what they did. Okay, and then they just added, they subtracted uh, 16, uh, 86 minus 16. And they went uh, 6 minus 6 is 0. And 8 minus 1 is 7. And then they subtracted 1. And they got 70 minus 1. 0 minus 1. Can I do that? No, I can't do that, can I? So what do I do? I borrow from the 7 that makes it a 6. The one that borrowed goes next door. And so that it was 0, I get 10. Now can I subtract? Yes, yeah, so 10 minus 1 is... 9 and 6 minus 0 is 6. How much did the temperature drop? And it went all the way down to 69. Okay. So you notice that they wanted to have the numbers in the ones place the same. They could have subtracted, you know, they could have broken um, uh, 17 to what? Um, 10 and 7, or 11 and 6, right? 11 and 6. They could have done it that way too. 11 and 6, and, they just, and then they could have done it this way. Instead of 16 uh, plus 1, they, it could, they could have done 11 plus 6, right? That equals still 16. And then they could have subtracted 86 minus 6, right? Is 80. And then they they and then they could have and then they went they could have done eighty minus eleven. Okay, so zero minus one can't do that. Borrow from the eight that makes it a seven. The one that road goes next door instead of zero, I get ten. Ten minus one is nine, and then one minus uh, seven minus one is six. So I still get the same answer. Okay. So when I did when I decompose, there's many ways of decomposing 17. Look at the example number two. However, there's some subtraction rules. It says subtracting a number from itself equals zero. So 10 minus 10, 100 minus 100, 1 billion minus 1 billion is always zero, right? Okay. Mr. Partita minus Mr. Partita is zero. Okay. Subtracting a number from itself equals zero. So, and then here's the example that they give you. 367 minus 367 is zero. Okay. But then it says, when so, subtracting zero from a number equals itself. So now I have 545 minus zero equals 545. Now it tells you to go ahead and subtract a number. Oh. Subtracting a number from itself is going to equal what again? Zero. Okay, so 417 minus 417 is going to be zero. It says, for example, number three, you can mentally subtract a number that ends in 99, 9 or 99, right? So, for example, if I have 100 and, uh, 140 minus 129, okay, it says make a 10. So I need, it says 129 is close to 130. So what they did was they added 1 to 129, and they got 140 minus 130, and they subtracted that. Okay, and they got 10. It says right here. And then it says, since you subtracted 1 too many, Added back to it. So then they added 
the one back after they got the answer. So 10 plus one is 11. So if I was, so 140 minus 129 is 11. If I actually was gonna do it without mentally subtracting, Okay, zero minus nine can do that. I have the bar from the four, that makes it a three. So one other bar goes next door. Instead of zero, I get 10. 10 minus nine is one. Three minus two is one. And then one minus one is zero. So I could have done it this way, or I could have done it this way as well. So if I do it this way right here, if I do it this way right here, okay, where I, um, I I make a 10 out of a number that ends in 9 or 99. What strategy am I using? Compensation, yes. Very nice. So it says find 223 minus 99. So the rule is when the number ends in 9 or 99, I make that into a 10, right? I add 1 to that, right? So I'm going to add 1 to 99, and I get how much? Right here, add 1 to 99 and to make 100. So now I have 203 minus 100. 3 minus 0 is 3. 2 minus 0 is 2. And then 1 minus 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay. Because I subtracted 1 too many, I have to do now the opposite to my answer. If I subtracted 1, what am I going to do to my answer? Add 1. See, and it says since you subtracted 1 too many, Add, add it back, add it back in. So 120, 123 plus one, this is gonna be 124 because three plus one is four, two plus zero is two, one plus zero is one, 124. Well, if I did, so this is, what strategy again is this? Compensation. So if I do it the other way, normal way, 223 minus 99, borrow uh one from the two i get one the one that bar next door instead of three i get 13 so 13 minus nine is four one minus nine i can't do that i would borrow from this two if i borrow one from two i get one the one that i borrow goes next door to the right instead of one i get 11 so 11 minus nine is anybody 11 minus nine two and then one minus zero is one so 223 minus 99 is going to be 124. The guy that practices mentally subtract 34 minus 18. Right, breaking apart the smaller number. And again, again, breaking apart is uh, what strategy am I using? Decompose. Great. So 18 is 14 plus what gives me 18? 14 plus 14 is 28. Four, yes. Four. Okay. So now I'm going to subtract 13 minus four. I mean, 300, 34 minus 14. Sorry about that. And what is that? 34 minus 14. 20. Four minus four is zero. Three minus one is two. So now I have 20. Okay. So now I take 20 minus 4, because I did decompose it. 20 minus 4. I'm going to write it over here. 0 minus 4. I can't do that. I have to borrow from the 2. That makes it a 1. The 1 that I borrow goes next door. Instead of 0, I get 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So 20 minus 4 is 16. So 34 minus 18 is going to be 16. Now it says mentally subtract 94 minus 59 by making a 10. So which which one of those could I make a make a make a a 10? I guess 94 or 59. Which one ends in a nine? 59. So I'm going to add 1 to 59. So if I add 1 to 59, I get 60, right? Now I could subtract 94 minus 60. 
4 minus 0, 4. And then 9 minus 6 is 3. So this is 34. And if I subtracted, if I added, what? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. And then I'm going to add 1. So 34 plus 1 is goes 35. Yeah, because if I... Yeah, that's right. So 94 plus... 94 minus 59 is 35. 